Hi mathematicians, in this video we, we just finished uh, learning how to use tape diagrams to represent ratios. In this video we're going to use the same problem from that video but we're going to use it to show how we can use tape diagrams to solve uh, equivalent ratio problems. So uh, let's, let's go through this. Mario and Luigi ran laps to train for their race so we know that they ran laps and this is about Mario and Luigi's laps there we go it's about their laps so the ratio and again ratio is the uh, an ordered pair of non-negative numbers that can be used to describe the relationship between two quantities and again order is important so the ratio of the number of laps Mario ran two, the number of laps Luigi ran was two to three. So the number of laps Mario ran to the ones that Luigi ran was two to three. Mario to Luigi is two to three. Two units to three units. All right, so I've modeled this entire problem with this statement right here, two to three, which stands for Mario's laps to Luigi's laps. All right, part A is saying, uh, if Mario ran four miles, how far did Luigi run? First, let me model this right here, a ratio of two to three units, Mario to Luigi's laps, in a tape diagram. Mario, and that's laps, and Luigi's laps. And when you draw a tape diagram, you want to make sure they start at the same point. If you're fine with starting at the same point, you don't need to draw, to draw this line. But if you find that it's helpful, go ahead and, and draw it. It will help. All right, so how many units am I going to draw from Mario? Two. Two equal units. One. Two. And then three units for Luigi and two goes right up to there and let me draw one more unit there we go alright so two units to three units Mario to Luigi two to three perfect alright before I read part A I want to make sure I have this diagram down next if Mario so this is about Mario if Mario ran four miles let me model this now with Mario running four miles with a with a bracket I'm going to show Mario running four miles how far did Luigi run I want to find out how far Luigi ran it says draw a tape diagram to demonstrate that means to show how I would find the answer I want to show how I found the answer all right, if I look at this, I see that two units of a length that I don't know is four. Another way of looking at it is this. If I take four miles and I divide it amongst two units, then I can find out what one unit is worth. So I can either say two times what gives me four, or I can say four divided by two units gives me what? So four divided by two is equal to two. So each of these units, one unit, is worth two miles. This is worth two miles. And remember, because all of these units are the same length, this is two miles, this is two miles, and this is two miles. To answer this question now, how, how, how far did Luigi run? I would just take three units, one, two, three units of two, or three times two, which is equal to six. Mario ran six miles. Sorry, Luigi ran six miles. Okay, let's go on to the next problem. Based on what we just did in the previous problem, let's see if you can solve part B on your own. Remember, the same information from, from this problem is what we read from the previous uh, page. So you can just go ahead and draw the same model.
And again, that ratio is 2 to 3. There's 2, and 3 is right there. 2 to 3. All right, so this information is in this model right there. Okay? All right, now we read part B. We're going to get new information now. If Luigi ran 930 miles, so Luigi is 930 now, miles, and I apologize for not writing miles on the other problem. How far, that's what I want to find out, did Mario run? So that's my question mark right there. How far did Mario run? Now again, if you're noticing, the ratio picture never changed. It's still Mario's units are two units and Luigi's units are three units. So the ratio is two to three all the time. All right, it says draw a tape diagram to demonstrate how you found, demonstrate is an action verb, how you found the answer. All right, if I look at the tape diagram, I'm noticing that I'm given information uh, about Luigi. So I'm given one, two, three units of, I don't know what length, are equal to 930 miles. So I can either say three times what number gives me 930, or I can say 930 divided by one, two, three, divided by three. And then when I do that, I can find out what the actual size of one unit is. 3 goes into 9 3 times. 3 times 300 is 900. And I'm left with 30. And 3 goes into 30 10 times. 110. And there is nothing left. So the, each one of these units is 310. All right. So to answer the question, how far did Mario run, this is my question mark, I'm going to take two units of 310. Two units of 310. And it's 620. So to answer the question, Mario ran 620 miles. All right. Now, if you look at both of these problems, we're actually given what we call an equivalent ratio now. Let's answer part C. What ratios? Ratios are just ordered pairs of numbers, so I'm just looking for that. All right? Can we say are equivalent, what ratios are equivalent to 2 to 3? Well, 2 to 3 units, right? 2 to 3 would be, uh, the units would be one, one, one unit in length, one inch in length, or one mile in length. So 2 times 1 would be 2, and 3 times 1 would be 3. But these are telling us that we are getting new ratios now. So ratios that are equivalent to the one that we are given, 2 to 3. I can also say that Mario to Luigi is 620 to 930. 620 to 930. And remember, ratio is just an ordered pair of non-negative numbers that tell you the relationship between two quantities in a particular order. So this one is Mario to Luigi. So it would be Mario to Luigi. 2 to 3, 2 to 3. And in this case, the equivalent ratio through the tape diagram is 620 to 930 in the same order. Not changing the order, but in the same order. Let's see if we can get one more from our previous tape diagram. We have Mario to Luigi, 4 to 6, is also equivalent to 2 to 3. So our, another ratio that's equivalent to 2 to 3 is 4 to 6. Let's write that in right here. 4 to 6. I hope that you learned how to use tape diagrams to solve equivalent ratio problems. Um, through the visual drawing. Thank you, and let's go to the next video, which is going to describe the, uh, the just the math way without drawing a picture um, of how to find equivalent ratios.